Years I spent in vanity and pride, caring not my Lord was crucified. <laughs> Bonus points. What song is it? <laughs> Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead, guys. Patera with you today. We're going to answer a couple of your questions about the previous video in, in regards to the the U.S. Postal Service, the debacle with my cashier's check, all that stinky mess that we went through. So listen, a couple of you out there had some questions, so I'm going to answer them. Most of you were super, super sweet and have a lot of great input and suggestions and advice and a lot of details in terms of your own experiences in recent years about losing, you know, getting your mail stolen and things are taken and all the hot messes that are going on. So if you want to go back to the comment section on the previous video, you're going to learn a lot. So here's the deal. I want to clarify a couple of questions. I'm not going to go over everything that I stated in the last video because that's just going to be repetitive. So we sent a check, a cashier's check to a financial institute in Dallas, Texas to pay off our truck. Okay. My husband got a truck a couple of years ago at zero interest rate. Uh, we have hustled, hustled, hustled to pay it off early, and we have, okay? When we called the Financial Institute to verify what we needed to do to send a final payment, we did exactly what they told us. And the reason being we did it this way is because they do not take wired money, okay? Some of you all were like, just wire it. Some of you were like, why didn't you just walk in and pay it off in person? First of all, they don't take large wired amounts because they're not a bank. They're a financial institute. So that should answer your question. I tried to answer that in a few comments, but it, just, it was just too much. Um, and number two, no, it's not here locally. So you can't just walk into the dealership, a dealership or, or this place and pay it off. It's in Dallas, Texas. That's over 800 miles away. So that's the reason why if I didn't do it over the phone in small payments day after day after day, then I would have to send them something in the mail. That's how that works. Now, I called them today um, and I called my credit union and I've been, on with, been around with the post office. So I verified all of this, what I can for you, okay? Because I don't want you to think I'm trying to mislead you. They do have something called an ACH. This was never told to me. That is called an automated clearinghouse, okay? So here's what I'm trying to tell you. When you deal with this particular financial institute, not a bank, you can make payments over the phone, but there is a cap, okay? Okay, and you can only make one payment per day. This is how we've actually ended up paying it off, or you know, this is how we're doing it, okay? Or how we did it, or whatever. Um, but there is also something called the ACH. Um, it sounds kind of like a wiring situation, but here's the deal. There's a cap. There is no cap in terms of how much I send from my end, from my credit union, from my bank account. It's about how much they're allowed to take at one time. Now, when you do these things, there are fees, okay? So here's the bottom line. When I, we asked about wiring the money, they said no. And they said you can continue, you could make payments this way, but they're smaller and it would take multiple ones over the phone. Like I said, we went with sending a cashier's check, certified mail. We did not think about having it registered because we were not told to. Um, I've never done, you know, I hadn't done this in a while. So I assumed it was going to be safe. I, to this date, haven't really had, I had one check lost during the whole um, pandemic debacle. Um, you know, and it was a small check, didn't make a big deal about it. I kind of expected it, you know, in a sense. And once I was like, I just sent a new check and was done. Okay. Um, but like I said, I, tr we trusted this situation. I think a lot of you have had situations where, you know, okay, this seems normal. Okay. I've backed it up. Okay. No, this is safer. Okay. This is certified. Okay. I've called the company. So we went with it. Okay. Had they gotten the check and, and, and none of these things, none of this stuff had happened, we wouldn't be talking about this on this video. Now we'll, we would, we wouldn't be. Um, clearly there's a lot of problems with the postal service right now, but I think there's a lot of trouble with a lot of things everywhere, UPS and FedEx included. So 
What I'm saying is if you want to be foolproof, you're going to have to do as much as you can on your own. So therefore, you're going to have to, like I said, if you can pay, if it's a local place or bank that you can walk into and pay it in person, that's what I'm going to encourage you to do. That would have been my preference, but that wasn't an option for me. My second choice would have been to wire the entire amount, uh, fee or no fee, have it done in, in Kumbaya. That is not an option either. So instead of trying to pound it out for multiple days, trying to get the final amount paid off, we did what they said, okay? So it's a big learning curve. So I appreciate so many of you that have been so kind, um, that were very helpful, that are, were, are trying to help me, or you've shared your experiences, or you're guiding other people. Um, some of you work for the Postal Service and have commented. Some of you are bankers and have commented. And all of those have been very, very truthful, in my opinion, and very, very helpful. Okay, we're all learning these things together. I'm pretty much under the whole idea of if you don't own it and if you can't pay it off in person, if you can't, you know, that, you're, yeah, the control goes away. But it's at some point, like I said before, if you've never had a, an issue with it, why would you assume that you would? Well, now we know. So this is that learn you darn you, right? So, you know, you do what works best for you with you and your finances. I encourage people to be as debt-free as physically possible. Stay very, very uh, diligent in terms of paying off your debts. Um, I understand that most people, especially now, have a lot of trouble. Uh, you know, we have to live. You, you got to go to work. You, you got to, you know, you got to buy food. You got to do these things. But dealing with debt, especially with credit cards and loans or car payments and all of that, can eat you alive. And so we know this it's you know but most people have to make these types of decisions but be you know do the best that you can to pay them off as quick as possible the reason we took out this particular loan the way that we did through this financial institute buying the vehicle the the truck that he bought is because three years ago they were running a special which was like i said in the previous video we had no interest it was zero percent interest if your credit was good enough you didn't have to you didn't pay any interest. So my husband researched this, these different trucks for like a year and a half. He knew what he wanted. He waited patiently. One came available in Kentucky through a, a friend of his that he knows at a car, a very good car dealership up there. And he made that decision and I supported him with that. Okay. He's a hardworking man. So, you know, and we've worked very hard to, to double time pay it off. And I'm very proud that we have been able to do that. Um, but these things happen. So, like I said, if I could have just walked into the Financial Institute and paid it off, that's what I would have done. But, unfortunately, it's in Texas. Unfortunately, they don't take large wires. So, we we trusted the system. I'll, I won't do it again. And I don't think you will either. Because, I'm telling you, it was a very stressful situation. I honestly thought we lost the money. I was very scared that we were not going to get that money back. It did work out that we did. Um, no, we have no idea the, uh, where the now canceled check, it, we, we don't know. We don't know if somebody malfunctioned and, and lost it in translation at the post office in Dallas because it did make it to Dallas, Texas. It, it didn't happen to me locally. So I'm not accusing my local mailman or even my local P.O. box people uh, in Farragut, uh, down in Farragut of doing anything wrong because they didn't. Um, and, you know, could it have been an employee through the, through the financial institute? Could have been. We've not gotten that answer yet. When I find out, if we find out, I'll let you know, and then we can all go from there. But all I'm trying to do is share the story and say, yeah, there's some pretty, pretty um, crazy wonky things going on. I don't want people to lose their money. I don't want people to go through what we did because it was very stressful. Um, and time is of the essence in terms of trying to get things accomplished, in my opinion. As far as paying off debt, as far as, you know, making sure your pantry is full, making sure your home is well taken care of. So that was a big push on our part. And if we felt very, James not so much because he's a little bit cooler of a cucumber than I am. But I felt very defeated because we have worked so hard. So you do what works best for you. Personally, if you can pay it over the phone and have them email you proof and you have that proof coming through every time that you make those payments as quick as you can, if you can't wire it, 
that seems to be the way to go if you're not going through something local. My preference, like I said before, is, you know, absolutely. If I could have had my wish, we would have done this all the way through our credit union because I can just walk in. They're wonderful to us. We've not had a problem to this day and they handle things very well, okay? Very professional, just like this morning on the phone. They were very professional because I went over every bit of this with them. Um, but that wasn't the option. And like I said, again and again, up until April, we had never had a problem, but these problems do exist. I hope this helps you out. I hope you watched the previous video to understand the full story if I wasn't clear here. I hope I answered your questions and I hope this helps you in the future to make decisions in terms of, you know, if you're trying to pay off a car, a tractor, a piece of equipment or your house, you need to ask a lot of questions. You need to evaluate the quickest but yet safest way in order for you to make sure it's completed, that you are documented and that, you know, the transaction goes through. Appreciate you being here. Hope this helps. I got to get back to the house. It's time to can, can, can. We're going to be having a big canning, canning, uh, you know, fiesta <laughs> in the kitchen today. Got to get those peaches done. Appreciate you so much. Let me know if you have any more questions. I'll try to answer them, but I think I answered most of the questions, and I appreciate y'all being so kind. We'll see you on the next video. Y'all take care out there.